the Warriors made an unsuccessful bid to convince the Lakers and LeBron to consider a trade to pair him with longtime rival Stephen Curry. Sources told Adrian Wojnarowski and Ramona Shelburne the Warriors were eager to present a deal package to L.A., but neither the Lakers nor James were ultimately willing to explore a potential blockbuster trade. An excerpt from Woj and Ramona story on .com reads, Buss told Laka the Lakers had no desire to trade James, but that he would need to seek the answer on James' state of mind from his agent, Clutch Sports CEO, which Ball sources said. Now, as an owner, Buss has operated with the mindset that she wants her star players content with the franchise and instructed her thinking on referring Warriors leadership to James' representation, sources said. Okay, Stephen A., yeah. should LeBron have wanted to team up with Steph and the Warriors? I'd say yes, simply because Steph Clay, uh, Steph Curry, I'm sorry, is the greatest shooter God ever created. And LeBron James having somebody like Steph Curry to kick the ball to would have been absolutely fantastic. Now, according to my sources, because you know I'm not going to just sit up there and is as great and phenomenal as Woj is. You know, I've been covering the NBA for decades, so I kind of know a few people. Um, the story was absolutely true. Um, it was certainly that the Warriors were looking to pursue. Um, and, you know, according to other sources, Rich Paul killed that deal. Rich Paul didn't want that to happen. That's what I'm hearing. In fairness to Rich Paul, I haven't spoken to him, haven't had time to speak to him this morning, so I don't know whether to confirm that or whatever. In fairness to Rich Paul, we want to make sure that we're clear about that. But obviously, when you think about all the things that LeBron has going on, Tinseltown would be a lot better than San Francisco. And I'm quite sure that no matter what Rich Paul may have wanted to do, for people out there to say that Rich Paul basically killed it, you have to take into consideration Rich Paul's not going to kill a damn thing that LeBron doesn't want him to kill. Mm -hmm. So if it was killed by Rich Paul, therefore it was killed by LeBron James. Having said all of that, I think that highlights an issue that we have to, we can't ignore any longer. We have to wonder how happy LeBron James is with Lakers management. And by Lakers management, I'm thinking Palenka more than Jeannie Buss. Jeannie Buss is absolutely phenomenal. Everybody loves Jeannie. We all know this. But in the same breath, if you're LeBron James, you're looking at the team. You're wondering about what exactly is being done to position you for title contention. And you're looking at some things and, and seeing what y'all are lacking. And you're wondering whether or not that's an ideal situation for you in L.A. In the end, to answer the question again directly, however, I would tell you, LeBron James, if there is one person on the planet he should want to play with, it would be Steph Curry, the greatest shooter God has ever created. There is nobody, there is no, there is nobody above Steph Curry. And LeBron James being who he is and what he brings to the table, having that brother to kick the ball to, Lord have mercy. It would have been special. It was a nice dream. It did not come true, but the Warriors did attempt to make it happen. Woj is absolutely right. It happened. It's just that it, it got nixed. Uh, I beg to differ on the shooting. He, I saw Bill Sharman. He didn't. Bill he Sh might be on the... Uh, <laughs> what, year, what, year, what year was that? The 50s. He was good. Oh, uh, I'm happy that LeBron vetoed this. You know what? He's bounced around a lot. He's chased championships a lot. This is good that he's going to stay in L.A. The team, you know, last year got to a conference final. He's obviously got uh, Antonio Davis. We brought in there to him, and Anthony Davis. We brought in there himself. You don't want to bail out on him. That's not the right thing to do either. To go chase another championship to me was not the right way to do it. Fix what's, what's going on right now in L.A. So I think he made the right move. Plus the fact he's never going to leave L.A. It's a billion dollar empire. He loves Southern California. His kid goes to USC. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's not leaving L.A. So I think it was a pipe dream anyway by the Warriors and probably a little act of desperation. But I'm glad LeBron said no. And it sounds like it was a firm, though. Mm -hmm. You know, he had no interest in Let me give you a day to think about it. Sounds like he wanted nothing to do with it. And good for him because mm -hmm. he's, he went Cleveland, Miami, Cleveland, L.A. I mean, now we're going to go to Golden State to chase another championship. I didn't like it. So I'm fine with what he did. Good for him. Mm. It made me laugh. I thought this was hysterical. This takes the concept of super team to another level, even though both of these guys are well into their NBA careers, uh, better than a decade for Steph and, of course, uh, two decades now for LeBron. I, I, I couldn't help but think for the moment, if this were to happen, whose team would it be? Mm -hmm. Right? Like, that just... And I, look, because of our job, look, that popped up in my head. Let, let, let's stop. No, it's not. No, it's not. Let me tell you why. It's no, it's not, it's an interesting subject, but it ain't no question. Tell me. 
You go to Golden State, there's only one man, and that's Steph Curry. Yeah, but now, even if LeBron went there. Correct. Steph Curry, there's no one who would supersede Steph Curry in the Bay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry to bring this guy up. But in the context of the Warriors championships, we have heard this debate when it comes to the time that Kevin Durant spent there. Yeah, but Kevin Durant was seen. No, that 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 wasn't. That's not accurate. Okay, tell me. Kevin Durant Give was me seen as the better player. Copy. But the team, okay. the town, was Steph. Okay. Steph, and, and, and I'll give you the, the proper comparison. I'm not talking about Alex Rodriguez. Yeah, Jeter and him. Hold on. But him. Jeter, it was <laughs> it was always Jeter. On a pitch. Go with Jeter. I, I, I'm not trying to spread rumors or bring up strife or beef. I know it was a long time ago. But wasn't there some talk that there were some issues with how Steph was treated versus KD because it was Steph's team? Like, that's a real conversation no, no, no. if LeBron was there. No, what I'm saying is, is that when you asked the question about whose team it would be, yeah. it was always Steph's team. And it will always be Steph's team as long as he's there. You might have, I'm not questioning, like Kevin Durant was clearly the better right. of the three. Kevin Durant was better than Steph yeah. Curry. Kevin Durant was better than Klay Thompson. But it was Steph's team. I got you. They go, that's all I'm talking about there. In other words, they move as Steph moves. When you talk about the Golden State Warriors and what they prioritize making happy, it was never KD. It wouldn't be LeBron if LeBron came there. It would always be about Steph. I mean, it's, it's, so, it's so thick up in Golden State. There was a moment last year when the team needed a couple of players to make an appearance on behalf of the team. The players said, we got to hear, we, we got to get the okay from 30. Everyone understands it's Steph. They literally said, the players, yeah. the team, the owner, the, 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 uh, I'm talking the administration, we need the players to make an appearance. And the team said, we got to get the okay from the so, 30. I, it's understood. I get it. And, and and maybe on the one here, there's something to be said if LeBron were to be able to win a championship with another organization right. in terms of his history. But I think at this point in his career, there are so many other things that play into the basketball of it all. And he is still a guy that guys want to play with. Do you agree that he didn't entertain it at all? No, I, 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 think, I think it's something. First of all, I don't care who you are. If somebody comes to you, you particularly if you're still great, yeah. which LeBron is, and they said, how you feel about playing about with Steph? And you know it's a possibility. You have to think about that. You got to sleep on it. You can't just definitively say no. And, 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 and I and I assure you, but again, Steph is so spectacular. If you are great, yeah. you believe it automatically gives you an opportunity because he's so great. Okay. And then you got if LeBron is gonna sit up there and dismiss this, I promise you it wasn't for basketball reasons. I promise you it yeah. was because yeah. your son's at USC. You got another son that's about to go to college. You have established yourself in Tinseltown. You got a lot of other interests that extend and expand far beyond that basketball, and that's why you do it. I promise you it wasn't because of basketball but reasons that LeBron James ain't with Steph Curry. But it's not like they're asking him to go to Miami and he's got to get a cross-country flight. It's, it's, you, it's a 45-minute plane ride. He's, you want, you well, can still live in L.A. and go not, up there. It's not, it's not like there. that. It's not like that. When the time away from folks because you have to be committed to this, that, takes, that gets taken into consideration. Yes, you would have to go there, but you still have to take a flight there. You're not around your family as much as you like. You're not coming home after games and chilling with them and doing Taco Tuesdays and all of this other stuff. No, that stuff kind of matters to somebody like LeBron James. We understand it. We respect it. And I tell you, he would have been hurting Anthony Davis. He leaves Anthony oh, yeah, Davis. He, well, he brought Anthony Davis in there. He doesn't Anthony, owe Anthony Davis. He doesn't owe, he doesn't owe oh, I think he Anthony does. Davis anything. I think he, does. he doesn't owe Anthony Davis anything. You're going to do, do that to Anthony Davis? Do that to Anthony Davis. Do that to Anthony Davis. Excuse me, excuse uh, me, excuse I me. wouldn't be happy with Anthony that. Anthony Davis is a phenomenal player. Right. A phenomenal star. And I'm proud of him in the way that he has played this year. He deserves all the process. I expect him to be out for at least 30 games by now. And the man ain't Just compliment him. Come on. But... Anthony Davis, to be clear, owes LeBron. It ain't the other way around. They, LeBron, sort of, the, they, they, they both won a championship yes, but, together. But since, joined but, since, the but, since, but since the championship has been won together, Anthony Davis spent the next four years averaging 28 missed games a year. 
LeBron James has been in the thick of things. LeBron James, one would argue, has easily carried the Los Angeles Lakers to relevancy over the last couple of years, more so than Anthony Davis. No, he's not old. I disagree with that. Anthony Davis is not old anything. Well, I say he's old anything. It's just you not the right, say thing, to say. You it's the right thing to do. You did say it's the right thing to do. do you think he let LeBron down at all? In- well, he was injured. I mean, that's a different scenario than just, hey, Anthony, we're not good enough. I see you. Have a nice time. I'm going to go play with Curry. That's a little weak. That's not weak to you. That's a little weak. He didn't How about do staying it. there? Well, thank God. He is. He did nah, it. He's good. He's he doing didn't. the right thing. That's there. what I said. Thank yeah. you, Monica. Yeah. Good you're, job. There's you're nothing right. wrong with staying in Southern California.